What's going on, folks? Media Beast here with the morning after the show with the most as far as first impressions go. I'm Eric, and alongside I have James here with me. What's going What's on, up? James? Yep, there it is. There it is. Final Fantasy. Oh, Final Fantasy? Speaking of Final Fantasy, that's our topic of the day. Final Fantasy 13 2. So, James, tell yeah. me, what are your impressions of the story thus far? Um, I'm a little bit, a little bit confused, but it, it's, it's slowly making sense. I'm not sure how exactly how this whole time warp. Oh, can I, say, can I say that? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, that whole time warp thing is going on. I'm not sure exactly how that's what that's about or why that's occurring. But besides that, it's pretty easy to follow. Yeah, I get, I get where you're coming from because um, time traveling is a very hard um, subject to you know get it to make sense and. Uh, I think Final Fantasy does a decent job at it, but it's still a little confusing as far as the story goes because um, unfortunately Square Onyx, they didn't particularly tell you exactly how to go about certain points of the game. You can jump from um, stages to stages and then you, you might end up jumping ahead a little bit too far, uh, which is okay because then you just back out and then you know backtrack, but whatever. <laughs> the story can be confusing, so just be careful how you go about the story. But um, other than that, like, as for me, uh, I'm liking the story so far. It, it makes sense to me, but I, I get it a little bit. So, uh, yeah, so the story, it's not like I'm not really playing for the story anyway, so. Where the, the gameplay? Game exactly. And while we're talking about gameplay, what do you like about the gameplay so far? I'm loving the slightly tweaked ATB system. Yes, that's like. I feel like they improved that aspect of the game pretty well. Um, like I'm loving the battle system so far, uh, especially yeah. with the, the mod clock. Do you like the mod clock? It, it was different at first, but I'm, I'm getting used to it. I like how you have to actually initiate battle now, so yeah, it's running or something. I, I think it's a lot more fun, especially since like in 13, uh, you had to strategically like sneak up on a monster mm-hmm. um, to get the... Um, Print the strike? Or, yeah, the, um, whatever. So, but, but now in the mod clock, you, you know, you get like a time limit instead and then you actually have to initiate rather than run into them you have to you know press a or x into the monster to you know your first encounter or whatever right get, yeah uh, and then the monsters like i feel like they're they're going stretching the monster aspect pretty far uh, like it's just it's really different for me and i think it'll See, definitely I must not be this i must not be as far as you because i'll face a lot of the same monsters that i faced in the first game no no I, like i'm facing the same monsters i'm just saying like the upgrade aspect of the monsters i think they like they they went pretty deep with that oh gotcha yeah because um you know the different monsters have different roles mm-hmm. and then you can i didn't get to the part where you can fuse them but i know you will be able to and then you can you know melt them together and they'll they'll carry on certain abilities from the fuse monsters and such like that. Uh, so I think that gamers will have fun investing in, 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 in the, the monsters. monsters. Yeah, kind of like Pokemon. You know, <laughs> you know, you grow attached to your monsters as you grow. So, I feel like it'll it'll make up for the lack of characters that you get to play as. Yeah. So um, the gameplay, Square Enix did a great job on the gameplay so far from what mm-hmm. I've been playing. Yeah. All right, James, now that we discussed what we like about the game, has your hype level changed since um, our last episode in the hype up? It has jumped considerably since the hype up, I can, I'd say, since I went out and bought this game. Um, I'll have to give it an 8 out of 10 right now on my hype. Really? Yes. It's great to hear because, like, I, I do feel the same way. Even though my hype was already high as it was, it, it's definitely increased because uh, I'm enjoying the game like, a ton. So our hype rating has changed since um, the hype up. So that's all we gotta say about that. So like we'll talk about the trophies and the, the achievements. Um, Final Fantasy 13 2 has 32 trophies and achievements in total. Um, without spoiling too much, we're just gonna list you know a couple, a couple of uh, trophies and achievements that um you know that, that we found pretty interesting. Like um there's one trophy that's called Giant's Fist. Uh, the, the objective is to deal like 99,999 damage in a single attack. So what that means is you're basically gonna have to get max stats, get the best weapons, and um, stagger uh, an enemy, and you know just just go ham, go ham, <laughs> go all the way in. Yeah. So uh, that's that's one of the trophies. And James, do you have any other trophies that you found interesting? I'm trying to think of the one that I was that I got today. And I thought it was really cool. Uh... Which was that? Oh, the one that I saw was, um, actually, what cool was the, um, Beast Tamer. 
Beast Tamer. Ah. You find the most unfriendly monster and befriend that one. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, what are the stipulations to get that trophy or achievement? Befriend the most unfriendly monster. That's all it says. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, well, I guess I'll just go find an extreme, like a behemoth or something, I'd assume. I see. Yeah, I got that monster too. Um, I think it was with the one of the... I don't even remember. But Those little, like, beast dogs, maybe? Yeah, I think it was that one. And then there's another one where, um, since since you are capturing monsters, there are certain monsters that a lot of you guys will recognize. And one of the one of the um, the hardest monsters to capture is a uh, a very recognizable Final Fantasy monster. And um, you know, you got your options to pick. You got your cactus, cactor. You know, mm-hmm. you got your tomberry. So, got some more monsters that you might recognize. So. Um, It'll be pretty fun, you know, searching for those monsters and looking out for them, trying to capture them and raise them. So, uh, I think those uh, achievements are pretty cool. Mm-hmm. And so, James. Yes. Since you bought Final Fantasy, hopefully, hopefully you bought it. Um, How else would I get a game? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're all, you know, respectable people. You know, we get our shit legit. So, uh, James. Oh, was the purchase worth it? Honestly? Yes. Yes. Why yes. so? Um, you're gonna have. I've heard run times were about 30 hours minimum, and with the the little um, items you can get for your uh, Pokemon's not Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon. <laughs> so I'm I'm going to Pokemon for your regular monsters. You can get um two separate types of items depending on the choices you make in dialogue. So there's a replay value right there. And while you think that you may have a specific way to play each character, be it Sarah or Noel, you actually have a way that you can play them in complete reverse roles and it'll still work out well and i, I want to see how that plays i want to see if i can make my magic user a straight up melee and make my uh melee guy a mage or a medic i see so replay values there yeah i you know i'm gonna have to go with you too i think the purchase is definitely worth it um i feel like 13 2 has tons of content in it especially with the monsters by itself mm-hmm. um I think the monsters add a bunch of content, and then there's we haven't even scratched the surface on side quests, uh, the mini games, and then like you said, we have you know our alternate paths as far as dialogue choices go. So you know just replaying it for the dialogue choices, I think that's a that will add some replay value too. And then um, another game mechanic that uh, Final Fantasy XIII 2 has is uh, that you can backtrack, unlike XIII. Uh, you can actually backtrack and then replay the um, entire scenario over and when you do replay it you know there might be something a little bit different from from what you did before so the replay value is definitely there so I definitely believe that my, my purchase is worth it especially as a Final Fantasy fan it's definitely worth it it's not a rentable game to get all the most out of it you can't even rent this yeah you can't it's like Skyrim you can't you can't rent Skyrim <laughs> if you have what's wrong with you yeah, exactly. What's wrong with you? But I mean, not, Final Fantasy isn't on level Skyrim, but it's pretty, pretty close. Um, so, now that we talk about is the purchase worth it, like where can we buy it with the most, you know, with using the less, the least amount of money? Um, I got a couple stores for you guys. We got Amazon, Target. Um, they're, they're offering $20 gift cards. Um, with the purchase of the game so if you buy it and if you shop at Amazon or Target frequently then I think that might be a good choice to make um, I know a lot of you guys probably use Amazon so you might as well you know while the, they still have the $20 credit available you might want to jump on that oh you have credit stored up already it exactly. always works out Amazon credit is amazing so um, and then if you you don't really care about the credit and you know you got a bunch of used games lying around that you don't play anymore you, you can take your games to best buy and if your best buy does trades then um any game traded towards final fantasy 13 2 is will get a 40 percent bonus so that's that's pretty legit especially what? uh yeah 40 percent bonus that's, that's a lot that's like half the value so your game um has a trading bonus of ten dollars you get about you get four dollars back so that's fourteen dollars that's about uh, 15 to 20 percent off right there every so, bit helps every bit helps especially with a 60 dollar game um so those are so far those are only the three you know cheapest routes 
as of right now, but I'm sure as time progresses, you'll you'll find Final Fantasy 13 2 cheaper as uh, it gets older. Mm-hmm. And well, what can I say? That's that's the morning after. That's the first impression. Um, well, from Wait, me and Jay. can we get like a review of this anytime soon? Matter of fact, yes, we can. Especially when the smoke clears. Ding, ding, ding. Ah, I see what you did there. See what I did there? Alright, guys. So, um, if you want to catch our in depth review of Final Fantasy XIII 2, tune in next time when we release the When the Smoke Clears, and it'll be out in maybe a week or so. You know, just tune in there and we'll give you, you know, your in depth review, uh, maybe some hints and tips, um, so you know, stuff like that. And, uh, we'll be sure to review the game for you guys, and then. But we have other things that, you know, we want you guys to check out from uh, Media Beast. And what is that, James? What, what else do we have to offer? Well, you got the GPR Gaming Phoenix Radio Podcast for all your gaming needs, hosted by me, Josh, and Eric. Yep. And then you've got Should I Watch That, hosted by Rod and Shannon for all your mo- movies and television. Uh, we have The Reactor with uh, our big boss, Chris Reinker. Every once in a while, just talking about just random live topics. So that's always interesting, and we always have a good time on that show. Yep. And then when you're not listening to the podcast, you can just read our articles on MediaBeast.net. Follow us on Twitter, at MediaBeastNet. Or you can like us on Facebook, MediaBeast Network. So there's plenty of ways to keep in contact with us, stay involved, and keep you updated. We have random little polls and contests that we like to do during the week. So follow us, like us. Just get on the site, tell your friends, hide your kids, hide your wife. Do all of that. But make sure you stay tuned to Media Beast. Yeah, man, just show us some love. Show us some love. So, you know, we'll keep pumping out content for you guys. Who knows, just you might have get a mobile app soon. Who knows, we might give start giving shit away just because we can. We still are doing that. Yes, we 500 are. 500 likes, I believe. Free games. 500 likes, 500 Movies. followers. You name it. We got it. We hit 500, we're in. We're in there. So, um, other than that, if you guys, you know, like this, you know, you know, obviously, don't forget to like and share the video. Uh, be sure to check out our other video series. Um, oh, and subscribe up. to the YouTube channel. Yeah. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Check out our other video series. We got Hype Up. We got, you know, The Morning After. And then we got... In the Dust Clues. When the smoke clears. When the smoke clears? <laughs> when the smoke clears. Oh, goodness, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright guys, this is Media Beast. I'm Eric and we got James over here. So yeah. uh, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you guys next time. Well that was easy. Mm-hmm. How long was that one? That was like one of the the, the longest drawn <laughs> John, John Alton, <laughs> ever oh, witnessed. I was like, "Oh my There's god!" So much stuff. <laughs> uh, it's alright. I mean, it's, it's the first one. I'm trying to see what. Sorry. Does, but... No, I mean, it's, it's cool.